Hi guys, today's video is going to be how to set and secure a tika or any other headpiece. So when you're dancing around, this method is going to help it stay put instead of flapping around. I'm going to start off by showing you how I have seen other people put on their tika and what they do is they just place it in the center of their head, put the hook on and then this happens. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that I always use when I'm trying to place a tika on myself or one of my clients. I take my rat tail comb and I begin by creating a center part in my hair. I'm using the comb side to get my center part but it doesn't really matter, you can do whatever's easy for you. And then taking the tika, I place it on my head and just work out how far back I want it to be. Then I take the section of the hair where the tika ends and then I gently start to tease it. You want to be teasing it enough so that when you put the pin into the hair, it's going to really grip and hold securely. And then I spray a tiny bit of hairspray on the teased section just so that it secures it and locks the tease in. I don't want this coming out at the event. Once that's all done, I open up the tease a tiny bit just to spread that area. I don't want it looking like a cone head. I want that section nice and rounded. Then you need to make sure you have two bobby pins on hand because we will be cross pinning them. I take the headpiece that I'm going to use and I slide one of the bobby pins halfway across the hook of the end of the tika. I place the tika where I want it and then I push that bobby pin through the section of the hair that I just teased. And then taking the second bobby pin, I'm going to cross pin with the first bobby pin so that the first bobby pin does not move. And then I section a tiny bit of hair just in front of the section that I teased. And then I tease this new section a tiny bit from the back only, spray behind, and then smooth it out. And what this does, it just gives it a really nice smooth finish to your hair. Now that the back of the tika is secure and you know it's not going to fall forwards off your face, I just want to secure that front bit of the tika so it doesn't flap around. Taking any eyelash glue, I'm using the one from House of Lashes. You apply it to the back side of the tika and then secure it in place and just hold it down for a couple of seconds. And that is basically it. So you can go to a function and you can dance around like no one's watching and you can do all of your performances and it's going to stay in place. Now, if a middle parting is not your thing, you can create your side parting here. You don't have to back comb this section. I just do it because I don't like my hair moving too much, especially when I'm wearing a tika. And then that's all there is to it. If you're going to be placing a tika in an updo, I would generally put it in towards the beginning of the styling. I can promise you that this method you can dance around and move around to your heart's content and this will not budge. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment and share and I will see you very soon.